drawing hats on people can be very tricky, so let's see what we can do. So let's say you got a, a face right here. We're not really drawing features today, just uh, hats. Let's say you got your person here. And they're wearing a hat. Well, I like to add the ear first. Because that's going to give me a point to go to. And there's usually a bump out right here with the bridge of your eye. And then it goes up. Now the brim of the hat is going to be one big movement. Because it's you got to draw the hat at kind of in a three-quarter view. Because if you draw a hat looking straight on, it looks kind of odd. So here we go. That's your bravery test, like Bob Ross says. Okay, the hard work's done. Now connect it. Here's the brim. Draw this line kind of light. Now draw the rest of that forehead coming down. I like to give a little bit of a, uh, a brim there. And then remember, there's a head underneath here. Okay. I like to darken this in. For a shadow. Don't be afraid to lay down that black. Because it's really going to make your drawings pop. And then your sideburns. And you might see a little bit of the other ear, but not much. If you wanted to get detailed, you could put the, you know, whatever on here. You could even draw the little cap on the top, a little dotted line. This is if you wanted to get, if you had time to do more detail and the little circle thingies. So there's one way to do it. Um, Sometimes there's different kinds of hats, like a, a big flat brimmed hat. I go like that. If you can draw a square, okay, like that, and then sometimes they do look like this, and then your head. And your features would be up here. You get the idea. You could color this in dark underneath to really make it um, pop. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's try, even on a, like a skinnier face. Again, remember that three-quarter view. Here's the eyebrow. Pardon me. Okay. Now your bravery test, all right? You gotta make that noise when you do it. All right, connect it. A little bit of the brim showing there for some three-dimensional effects. Remember, there's a head under there. All right. And color in the under brim. I really struggled drawing hats uh, for caricature. Someone would sit down for me. I mean, it was tough because I was trying to really draw what was there. And in caricature, you got to simplify. And the neckline kind of is always near the ear. You get the idea. I'm going to do one more. Um, let's try.
try. Let's see if we got an interview here. Yeah, we got room for one more. All right, kind of like if you had a very wide face, like me. Again, I, I try to draw the, the features first, then the shape, uh, face shape, and then I put the hat on at the end. So with me, eyes, nose, mouth. Remember, the eyebrows can kind of get in the way, so be careful. Let's point the hat face in that way. So, um... Here we go. We're gonna remember your 3D. We're gonna go like this. Because you're gonna see a little bit of the curve. There you go. A little bit of line there. I think that kind of did it. Alright, and now color this in. And that really pops. Yeah, that can be another kind of angle with like a kind of a squash to look to it for a larger type guy like myself. And that's just some quick tips on drawing hats. They're kind of tricky. But really, look at a hat. Look at your hat. Look at yourself in the mirror. That's kind of what I had to do. I hope this helps. Give me a comment, a like, a subscribe. Um, remember, draw, draw, draw. Keep drawing.